Uh, the title of uh, uh, this presentation is uh, uh, grand, uh, Guessing Grand Additive Noise Decoding for Outer uh, Reliability and Latency uh, Communication Applications. Uh, I'd like to uh, share my research work with everyone uh, here, and I hope you will be uh, interested in this uh, topic. <clears throat> uh, my presentation includes uh, six parts. Uh, the first is a brief introduction of myself. And then I will report my research work. Uh, at last, I will uh, present two challenging topics uh, for a future cooperation. Uh, biography. Uh, my name is Min Zhan, uh, major in uh, communication and information systems. I got my uh, master's degree at uh, Southwest Jiao Tong University and the doctorate degree at the University of uh, Science Technology. Uh, of electronic science and the technology of China. Uh, after I got my uh, master's degree, I began to work at the uh, Southwest University. Uh, as a teacher, I have been working for uh, 20 years. Uh, my research field include uh, uh, China coding, uh, wireless sensor networks, and uh, high performance wireless communication in industrial automation. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, we begin with uh, uh, grand preliminaries. Uh, uh, traditional, as we know, traditional decoding algorithm is all related to the coding structure. Uh, this means uh, for code with different uh, coding structure, uh, the uh, decoding algorithm is al also not the same. Uh, but for grand, it is uh, a universal decoding algorithm uh, that uh, uh, suitable for any uh, linear uh, block code. Uh, the reason is that uh, a grand uh, will generate uh, uh, the uh, noise error patterns, uh, that is NEP, uh, from the most likely to the least likely. <clears throat> and query if uh, the guest code word is a legal member in the code book, uh, if uh, the legality of uh, a code word is uh, confirmed, so the decoding is successful. Otherwise, uh, we should generate a new NEP and uh, to uh, repeat the guessing decoding. Uh, in my point of view, I think uh, grant is a very prom promising solution for uh, URLC. Uh, the first reason is that uh, a grant can provide uh, a very good uh, uh, decoding performance. Uh, from this figure, uh, we can see uh, for PSH, RM, and IRC, a uh, grant. Uh, uh, have, uh, uh, can provide much better error correction capability. Uh, because of this reason, I think uh, uh, grant is uh, very useful for uh, URC applications. Uh, the second reason is that uh, uh, according to current realization of grant decoders, uh, the throughput uh, can easily uh, reach to multi-GBPS level. Uh, this is very important. Uh, for example, uh, we can see from this, uh, uh, the first reference, uh, the uh, realization of a grand decoder, the throughput can uh, reach uh, to uh, 60 GBPS. And uh, the worst case decoding complexity uh, is uh, no more than six meter, six meter. So because uh, a grand, uh, the grand algorithm uh, can be performed uh, in parallel. So, uh, the decoding latency is very small. Uh, this is our uh, published paper. Uh, the content of the last section is based on this uh, this paper. Uh, based on our previous research in factory environment, uh, we found the uh, uh, burst error is the main for source for functional uh, for PR degradation. Uh, so. To improve the reliability, we highlight the grand Markov order algorithm. Uh, so in this regard, uh, the PR generation is of great importance. Uh, for class of NEP with M burst and uh, totally AM error bit per error bit, uh, it is represented as uh, the M and AM uh, parameters. Uh, considering the distribution of uh, the one and the zero bit uh, in one NEP, uh, NEP can be classified into uh, four, uh, four 
uh, four types. The first is uh, uh, case one, uh, zero bit stored and uh, uh, zero bit uh, end. Uh, case two is uh, uh, one bit stored and one bit end. And case four is uh, uh, zero bit stored and uh, one bit end. And case four is uh, uh, one bit stored and zero bit uh, end. Uh, in this figure, uh, the one, one, uh, one means uh, this bit is uh, an error bit, and zero, zero means uh, this bit is error free, error free, and AI is uh, the one birth permutation, and BT is uh, the uh, zero birth permutation. Uh, if we get AI and BT, so we can uh, form one NEP. Uh, for clear explanation, I'd like to give uh, the example. Uh, uh, for example, if M and LM are two and four, and the pack length is uh, uh, 10 bit, uh, for case one, the stored and the end bit are both uh, one, or both zero. So we can get the following result. The first is that uh, uh, the number of zero bit is three and totally six. Zero bit, so the zero birth parameter parameters are three and six, three and six. Uh, for any given one birth parameter and uh, zero birth parameter, uh, there are more than one uh, permutation. Uh, for example, if the one uh, birth parameter is four, uh, is two and uh, and four, so the one permutation uh, has three permutation and this is uh, the one uh, permutation and for the and for the zero birth parameter three and six so they are there are ten uh, zero permutation so uh, we can see from this figure as a whole uh, there are totally a uh, 13 NEP can be uh, generated from this AI and BG, BG. Uh, for example if AI is uh, is AI uh, uh, one and uh, uh, three? So there are two, one burst. Uh, this is two one burst. And if BG is uh, uh, four one one, so there are three zero burst. Uh, if this uh, uh, one burst and uh, zero burst, uh, they are one by one pieced together. So we can get uh, the one NEP. This is the NEP. Uh, so from this uh, <clears throat> from this figure, uh, this example, uh, if we want to generate uh, the NEP, we must uh, uh, generate uh, AI and BG and BG. Uh, who generate all of the uh, permutations that AI and BG? We define at first. We define our, our model permutation. Uh, model permutation means. Uh, uh, it can be used to generate uh, new permutations. Uh, for permutation with uh, the general form uh, in this uh, equation, the first digit, uh, this is the first digit, uh, and f means there are f one bit at its end, at its end. Uh, if the first digit is uh, no less than two, and f is no less than one, so this permutation is uh, or mother permutation. Uh, for example, if AI is four, two, one, 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 so the first uh, digit is uh, is four, and F is uh, F is three, so AI is uh, a mother permutation. Uh, BG, uh, if BG is uh, five, one, 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 and two, the first digit is five, but uh, F is zero uh, because the north digit is two, so f is zero. Uh, is this uh, as a result of BG is not a modular permutation? Uh, to generate all of the uh, permutations for given birth parameters, uh, we propose the successive addition and uh, subtra subtraction method, uh, which ha has uh, three steps. I have four step steps. The first step, the first step, uh, the first step is uh, initialization. 
呃呃 ，by this 呃、uh, 嗯 ，one birth per parameters we can 呃、uh, we can easily get the first 呃 permutation 啊、uh, ，this is very easy， 还是这个？呃 ，the second the second step is the 呃、uh, SS operation 啊、uh, ，a value h is subtracted from the first digit， that is from the first digit， 呃、uh, ，where h take values in this set in this set。And then h is added to the last f digit. Is added to the last f digit. So, uh, by this type, we can get more permutations. Ah, uh, and the the third type is store the mother permutation. Ah, uh, if uh if the new generated permutation is a mother permutation, so it is stored in memory. It's stored in memory. Uh, step four is. To repeat step R, step two and three, until no model permutation are stored in the in memory. So by this way, we can uh, we can generate all of the permutations, all of the permutations. Uh, maybe uh, this explanation is not clear. So uh, I'd like to give this example. Uh, for example, if uh, the birth parameter is uh, the birth parameters are four and seven. So we can easily get the first permutation. That is four, one, one, one. The first digit is four and f is, uh, is three. So this is a mother permutation. Uh, by using the SAS method, uh, one, two, and three are subtracted from the first digit. And also one, two, three, or added to the f digit, so in this way we can get the live new permutations, new permutations. And among these uh, new permutations, there are four. They are also mother permutation, also mother permutations. Uh, for each of uh, the mother permutations, the SI uh, method uh, is repeated. Uh, we can generate uh, new permutations. So by doing this. Uh, uh, operation uh, repeatedly, uh, we can uh, generate more permutations until no more permutations are generated. Uh, uh, as a result, uh, we can uh, get all of the permutation that is uh, uh, 20, 20, 10 permutations. Uh, the second uh, part is uh, grand uh, Markov order decoder for uh, CRC. And this uh, content, uh, the, uh, and this content is based on these two papers. Two papers. Uh, when all of the um, noise error patterns are generated, uh, they can be used for the guessing decoding. Uh, here, I'd like to uh, explain why we are very interested in uh, grand uh, Markov order algorithm and the uh, CRC. Uh, the first. Uh, why grand Markov order algorithm is uh, uh, considered? Uh, because from our previous uh, uh, research, we found uh, uh, a birth error uh, is uh, a main source for uh, performance degradation. And the grand Markov order algorithm uh, is suitable for a birth error correction. Uh, why we are very interested in CRC? Uh, because uh, uh, CRC uh, have been widely used in digital communications. Uh, but in reality, uh, CRC are usually used only for error detection and for error detection. Uh, the reason is that uh, uh, traditional decoding algorithm can only uh, correct one or two error bits. But uh, when we, we use grand algorithm, uh, we can find CRC uh, have very very good decoding performance. Uh, based on our uh, the above analysis, we propose the high throughput CRC decoding uh, architecture. Uh, from this figure, you can see it is uh, composed of uh, three parts. Uh, this is the permutation generation module, and this is the NEP generation module. And this is uh, the Gaussian decoding module, Gaussian decoding module. And D, D, uh, D, D is the hardware 
parallelism parameter. Uh, it means there are D branches. And uh, these branches uh, can perform the Gaussian decoding at the same time, at the same time. Uh, and, and the LN uh, uh, are input to generate the uh, zero permutation. M and LM are input to generate the one permutation. Uh, the AI and BG, that is uh, the zero permutation and uh, uh, one permutation, they are input to the AEP generation module. So we can generate uh, uh, one NEP. And this AEP is uh, input to the Gaussian decoding module. Gaussian module. And this is the uh, overall uh, architecture. Uh, this is the uh, permutation generation module. Uh, M and uh, LM are the input parameters. Uh, if uh, the input parameters are N and LN, so we can generate the uh, zero permutation. Uh, by using the SS method, uh, we can generate all of the uh, permutations. permutations. Uh, in our FPGA implementation, uh, we can find at last uh, uh, one permutation can be generated in one clock cycle, one clock cycle. Uh, this is uh, uh, the NEP generation and uh, the Gaussian decoding modules. Uh, it is uh, uh, put together. Uh, for the NEP generation module, uh, AI is input to generate the one burst, and the BG is input to generate the uh, zero burst. And uh, controlled by this switch logic, uh, the one burst and the zero burst are pieced together, and we can get the uh, error pattern, that is NEP. Uh, in the guessing decoding module, uh, the, the guessed code word uh, is input into uh, this uh, division circuit. Uh, through this uh, division circuit, we can check if the getting decoding is uh, successful. Uh, with this uh, uh, simulation settings, uh, we can uh, investigate the uh, PR performance. Uh, by this figure, uh, we can see at a similar code rate and uh, packet length, uh, CRC with grad algorithm uh, has much better decoding performance than uh, BCH and RC code with the BM algorithm. Uh, this shows uh, a grand uh, has very better decoding performance. Uh, for the same code, same CRC code, that is the same coding, uh, CRC coding scheme, uh, the burst the, the channel state, uh, the worse the decoding performance and the higher uh, the decoding complexity. Uh, we can uh, get this result from this uh, testing, uh, from this, this figure, yeah. Uh, based on uh, the FPA platform, I will put the uh, high throughput decoding architecture into a realization. Uh, this is the testing result. Uh, so uh, we can see clearly uh, the throughput can easily reach to uh, GBPS level. Uh, I think uh, uh, if it is run as use ASIC, uh, maybe the throughput can improve. improve. Uh, joint error detection and correction, and this paper uh, is uh, uh, in major revision. Uh, the content of the next section is based on this paper. This paper. Uh, joint error detection and uh, correction. Uh, in Internet of Things, uh, CRC code have been uh, widely uh, used. Uh, reason is that uh, CRC are used to protect the, the integrity of the safety protocol uh, data rate, uh, that is uh, uh, the SPDU. Uh, based on the IEC standard, uh, the black channel uh, model uh, is usually used for uh, safety uh, communication. Uh, so what uh, black channel means? Uh, black channel means uh, 
for the safety communication layer, for the safety communication layer, uh, this channel is used for SPDU uh, transmission, and we should not care how the channel works, how the channel works. Uh, for each of the SPDU, it is CRC coded uh, because CRC uh, have very powerful error uh, detection capability. Uh, this is a review of currently used functional safety protocols. Uh, so from this uh, this table, we can see the importance of CRC for safety communication uh, because CRC uh, are used in each of these protocols. It's really very important. Uh, but uh, well, unfortunately, uh, in this uh, uh, protocols, uh, CRC code are only used for uh, error uh, detection. If one SPDU is uh, uh, detected with errors, uh, uh, this SPDU will be retransmitted and an alarm will be reported. Uh, motivated by the uh, grand decoding of CRC, we propose the, the joint error detection and the correction capability uh, and the correction uh, strategy for safety communication. Uh, in this figure, we can see uh, the, the CRC error detection and uh, the grand decoding are uniform together. Uh, if one uh, SPDU is uh, detected with errors, it will be decoded by using the grand algorithm. Grand algorithm. Uh, under the IEC uh, standard settings, uh, a perfect safe perfect safe based study is performed. Uh, by these figures, uh, we can see uh, when the SPDU packed lens is uh, not too long, the PR and uh, uh, the BER and the PR performance are greatly improved, are greatly improved. Uh, but uh, uh, unfortunately, as uh, the packed lens increases, we can see the BER and the PR improvement uh, is less significant. Uh, the reason is that uh, uh, the, uh, the decoding complexity is limited. Is limited. Uh, so, uh, based on our research work, uh, we think uh, uh, there are two challenging topics should be highlighted. The first one is uh, how to reduce the decoding complexity. Uh, in case of non-packed lens, uh, or if uh, more error bit are included in uh, one packet, the decoding complexity will uh, increase greatly. So uh, if we want to correct more error bits for long packet, uh, we must uh, reduce the decoding complexity as much as possible. Uh, but uh, presently, we haven't got a uh, high effective method. Uh, the second challenging topic is how to estimate the residual error uh, probability, uh, that is uh, REP, RP. Uh, IEP is a metric uh, used for function function failure, um, and as uh, estimated by the IC standard, uh, this uh, equation is used uh, for IEP calculation. IEP calculation. Uh, in current functional safety protocols, uh, SPTU will be checked only once, only once. So we can use uh, this equation for calculation. Uh, but uh, uh, in our proposed joint error detection and correction strategy, uh, one SPDU uh, may be checked uh, more many times. So as a result, the IEP performance will be degraded a uh, bigger. Uh, in safety communication, the P the uh, the REP perform performance degradation is uh, not uh, unexpected. Unexpected. So we must uh, uh, find uh, an effective theory to estimate uh, the REP performance. And this is also uh, a very important topic. 
a uh, takeaway message. Uh, as a whole, a grant is a promising solution for URLC and CLC could have exciting error correction capability and uh, are possible to be used for uh, safety communication uh, in case the two challenging topics are resolved. And this is our, uh, uh, our conclusion. Uh, related works. Uh, the first two papers uh, have been published. And this, uh, uh, these two papers uh, are in, in, uh, in review uh, and is, uh, is possible to be accepted. Yeah. Um, and we also have one paper in writing. In writing yeah. Okay. Uh, my presentation is over. Thank you for listening.